this project, we're going to create a Python program that can detect pictures and then do stuff based on where these pictures show up. So in the IDLE, I'm going to go and import the modules I need. So I'm going to go import PyAuto GUI. I'm going to import a new module that we haven't used yet called OpenCV. This one actually you have to write it CV2. I'm going to import time. I'm going to import random. And I'm going to import keyboard. Okay, so now that I have the modules I'm going to need, let's go and create a function that's going to help us to find out positions on the screen. So I'm going to create a function. I'm going to go def. And I'm going to call this function get underscore mouse. Essentially, whenever I press a certain set of keys, it's going to print out to me where my mouse is. Well, in this case here, I'm going to go print. And then I'm going to print pi auto GUI dot position. That's going to be really useful for us. And then we can actually trigger this function by going keyboard dot add underscore hotkey. And the hotkey I'm going to use is going to be uh, P, the P key. And then when I click on the P key, it's going to trigger get underscore mouse. So let's try out this first part of our program. Let's go and save this up. Now, there's something very specific you need to do for this project. In your downloads, you're going to make a new folder and call it, I don't know, in this case here, let's call it image finder. And let's go open this folder. The reason why we need to create a folder is because we're going to be using pictures in our program. And for the Python program to be able to find these pictures, well, the Python program needs to be in the same folder as the pictures. So I'm going to save my project here. I'm going to call it image finder. There it is. Now it's saved in the folder. You can see it here. If I go to downloads image finder and I have my image finder Python file. Okay, so let's go and run it. And if I press on P, I should have an output of where my mouse was. This works perfectly. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add another function. And this one is going to see if there's a picture on the screen. And then it's going to output for us the position of this picture. So I'm going to go def and I'm going to go, I'm going to call this function image finder. And when I find a picture, I want it to output for us where that picture is. So we're going to go, we're going to create a variable called image location. And this is going to hold the X and Y coordinate of where that picture is. And then we're going to use pi auto GUI dot locate on screen. And then I want to locate on screen a picture. In this case here, I'm gonna, I've opened up a whack-a-mole game from this link. This is what we're going to be programming today. Let's go see if it can detect where the start button is. So to go and find where the start button is, I'm going to go click on Windows Shift S. It's going to take a screenshot and I'm just going to take a screenshot of just the start button here.
I'm going to open up this picture and then I'm going to save it in the same folder that I created earlier. And let's call it start. I auto GUI dot locate on screen and we want to locate start dot PNG and then there are specific properties that we're going to add here to make it go a little faster we're going to say grayscale equal true and the other one that we're going to add here is we're going to add confidence equals 0 0.8. So this new module we're using called OpenCV allows us to detect pictures. And then because we're using this detect pictures, we're also using something that can detect a certain confidence level that it found something. So it's going to compare the different colors from the picture we took, and then it's going to compare it on things on our screen. And with a confidence of around 80%, it's going to tell us if it's found it. It's going to find an object that's at least 80% that it's confident that it's on the screen. So let's go and try it out. Uh, to do that, I need to trigger it with a hotkey. So I'm going to go keyboard dot add underscore hotkey and then we're going to do this on the F key and then the F key is going to trigger this function which was called image underscore finder. The function that I've made, I've kind of made a mistake. I've decided to give it the X and Y coordinate of where that picture is to this variable, but I'm not printing it out. So I'm going to go and let's go and when if we find the picture, so if the image, uh, let's actually, we should probably just print it out. Let's do print, we'll print out image location. Let's try that out. Okay. And it should output, if it doesn't find it, it should output none. And if it does find it, it should give me my X and Y coordinates. Okay, so let's go run this program here. Run module. I'm gonna press on F and there you go. It's actually found over by 1300 pixels and then down around just under 600 pixels, there's a start button. Let's see if we can get it to work. So every time we go and type an F, it's actually going to print out the location and then it's going to go and click on it. So we're going to go pi auto GUI dot click. And let's go and click on that image location. There we go. Module. Try out. And there you go. It moved my mouse and clicked on the object. That's perfect. Okay, let's just refresh here. We're just going back to our game here. Okay, so in this case, it's not really throwing any errors because there is the picture there. Now, if the picture was not on the screen, like right now, what would happen? Let's go click on run. And let's click on F. And it says none and then F and it doesn't click anywhere. It doesn't actually know what it's doing. So what we can do is we only want it to click if it finds the image location. So we're going to go if image location is not equal to none then click on the image. So only if it finds the picture, do we want it to click on the picture. Okay, so let's go and see what we're gonna be doing today. In this case, we're gonna to be creating a program that's gonna play this game 
on its own. It's not going to be super efficient. It's going to work really slowly, but uh, it's going to work somewhat. Essentially how this game works is that there's these little mole guys that appear. What we're going to do is we're going to write a program that's going to detect when they appear and then click on one. Right now it's pretty fast. I don't think our program is going to do very well, but heck, let's try it. So when you click on one, it kind of taps them down. We don't want to click on the bombs. You can go and try this game out if you want to. All right, just going to exit out of this. Yes. So let's go and write a program that's going to automate this for us. So what we're going to do is think what we have here. But instead of using the start button, we're going to add in some pictures of these moles. And we're going to add them in the same folder where we created our Python file. So I'm going to click Windows Shift S. I'm going to take a picture of this guy here. Okay. I'm going to so call it gray mole. Go and take another screenshot here, Windows Shift S, and this time of the second guy. We're going to call this call, I think there's two brown moles. So we're going to call one light brown and one brown. Brown mole. Go and save the next one, Windows Shift S and get this dark gray mole. And then let's go and get the light brown mole. Finally, we don't actually want to add the bomb because the, if we click on the bomb, then the game's over. So those are the only ones we want. Okay, so essentially our program is kind of like what we've built it. We find a location, we're gonna print out that location, and then we're gonna click on it. So let's go and we're going to do image location equals locate on screen. And the first one we're going to do is gray mole. Rescale equals true. Confidence equals 0 0.8. Print out the location. If the image location is not none, so if it's on the screen, then go and click on it. Let's go try that out. Let's see if it works. <laughs> it might just not work because they're moving. Okay, and let's click on F. There you go, it's working. Okay. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna copy paste the code that we have and we're gonna put this a couple of times. And we're gonna loop it. So we're gonna make it that it's always checking if, if someone's appearing. So the first thing we're gonna do is inside of this function, we're gonna go while true. And this is a forever function, it's just gonna sorry, a forever loop. It's going to keep on doing it as long as we have the Python program running. So to get something inside of this, we're going to go, we're going to tab all these things in here. And now these are all repeating to infinity, okay? Because they're tabbed into the while loop. So image location equals Pi out of joy, look it on screen, wherever that gray mole is. Okay. And if that if the gray if the gray mole appears, let's say gray mole. It's gonna be some something better for us. We can actually troubleshoot our program. 
print Grimal equals, sorry, print Grimal, and then our image location, and then go and click on it. Okay, so now let's go and add our next one. Image location equals pi auto GUI, locate on screen. Let's just go and copy paste it because we're lazy. There you go. Okay. Go and copy paste these. Okay. Gonna find one picture, print a message out, and if the picture is on the screen, then it's gonna click on it. Then it's gonna do the same thing for another picture. Image location equals locate on screen, and the next one was brown mole. Grayscale equals true, competence equals 0.8, so 80%. Print brown mole. Brown mole image location. If the image location is on the screen, sorry, if it's on the screen, then go and click on it. Let's go see if that works. Run module. AF, it's going to start my loop. Okay, it keeps finding it. You'll notice that there's one brown mole equals none. It just means it probably glitched out or that I have something blocking it and it's not matching it. But it's detecting it pretty quickly, which is great. So it's detecting on the screen the position of these two guys. And it's actually alternating clicking between both of them. Okay, let's see if I can get out of this code. Oh God. can even get out. There we go. Oh, and that's because I have a wild true. Hopefully you don't have the same issue that I have. You might need to restart your computer because you can't stop your program. Uh, but yeah, wild true forever loops. And let's go add our uh, dark gray or light brown here. Same thing. Let's go image location. We're going to just copy paste this. This is fine. Okay. Image location equals, and then now we want dark gray mole. Dark gray mole. Click on it. Finally. Scale true, confidence equals 0 0.8. This allows us to not match the color, so it's just easier to find for it. It just goes faster. Uh, confidence is just because the picture moves, so if you have a confidence of 100%, you probably won't catch it. Image location equals none, and then we want this time a light brown mole. Click on the for light brown mole if it shows up. All right. Technically speaking, this should work. I don't know if I want to run this again because uh, I'll probably get stuck, but let's give it a shot. Will it find all of my guys? It does. It doesn't seem to ever get to the light brown mold, though. It sees it. It just never clicks on it. It just might be that it's going so fast. Oh, there it is. It is once in a while. Okay, let's go and exit out of that. Uh, I'm pressing to get out of this. I seem to be hiding the picture and then clicking Alt Tab and then pressing X on this program window. Okay, <laughs> seems like a way to get out of it. So let's try our program and let's see if this works. I'm going to click on Run. Remember, I have to trigger it with a hotkey, so I can just press on Play. 
And now let's press the letter F. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's working. And you can actually see on the side there, this little program that's uh, telling us where they are and when they're showing up on the screen. How cool is that? Gotta go here. Got 24 seconds. Come on, get that high score. Oh, there was a light brown. It must not have detected it. Freaking out. There's too much stuff on the screen. Oh, my score, 2260. And you can see all my, my code here is actually detecting none all over because it just can't see it on the screen anymore. I would consider that victorious. I know there were some times it didn't pick it up, but this was kind of an easy project just to kind of get familiarized with locate on screen. So again, let's just kind of go over what we built here. In our project, we created two functions. We created a get mouse function and we created a image finder function. The get mouse prints out the position of the mouse whenever we click on letter P. And then whenever we press on the letter F, it triggers the image finder function. We haven't used the get mouse yet in this project, but we will in the future. So keep this code together. In the image finder function, we created a loop. It's just gonna keep doing whatever's tabbed into it. It finds the location of the picture that we specified that's also located in the same folder as our Python file. We tell it that we don't care the color, just so you can match black and white. And then find something on the screen right, where you're 80% sure that it's the, same, the, the picture. Tell us, gray mold, tell us where that picture location is. And now if that picture is on the screen, then click on it. Same thing here. Locate the picture on the screen, store those coordinates inside of image location, print where that is, and if it's on the screen, if it's not not there, then click on it. And do that for all the pictures. Again, the get mouse we're gonna use in the future, just leave it for now. We also didn't use the time module and we didn't use random, but we will be using in a feature, leave it where it is. Hope that was a little fun. Maybe you can think about another game that you could automate using PyAutoGUI and image detection. Take care.